This video is brought to you by WP Forms. WP Forms is the most beginner friendly drag and drop WordPress forms plugin on the market. Just click on the link in the description below to get started. The first 200 people to use coupon code WPBVIP will get 50% off WP Forms. Today, you're going to learn about some of the powerful features that WP Forms has that will help you grow your website and streamline your workflow. So if you're ready, let's dive in. First, you'll get to see how easy it is to use just by installing and creating your first form. In fact, they know how easy it's going to be that they give you a five minute challenge to see if you can go through this whole process of naming your form, selecting a template, adding the fields, checking notification settings, and then embedding it in a page. And you can start the challenge to see just how easy it is. Now, many of these features I'll be showing you from the paid versions. So if there's a feature that you see that you like, make sure that what you have is on your tier that you have. So we're going to upgrade to showcase all of the paid features. Next, some of the power comes from just creating the form. So when you create your first form, you don't have to start from scratch. And in fact, this is one of the things I love. I am, I feel like I'm really good at improving on something that's already there rather than creating something from scratch. And so they make it really easy to start with something simple in a simple form that they've already created that you can build on. And you'll have a couple few with the light version. And then when you upgrade, you can even go and install a forms template pack to get even more templates to choose from. So before we had a few, and then you see all of these down here, there are hundreds of them that you can simply search through and find one that is what you need. And then you can go through and drag and drop these however you want to make it look exactly how you need it to look. Next, we're going to use conditional logic in three different places. Specifically, we'll use it on conditional logic for form fields. This makes it super easy to ask follow up questions only to the people who have answered a certain way. For instance, we have created something like, how did you hear about us? We have a drop down of three choices. And so now we want to do so when someone says other, let's add a text field that will go in here and we'll enable conditional logic. Show this field only if how did you hear about us is other. And so no one else will see that as a great way to do conditional logic. And now we can take conditional logic to the next step. And WP Forms has a great notification system where you can get the email as soon as someone fills out the form. But what's really cool about this is let's take the conditional notification form to the next level. So we'll add automatically the admin person of the website will get this. And these are all of the fields that they'll get in their email. But what you can do is add a new notification and call it sales. And down here, let's enable conditional logic. And what we want to do is we're only going to send this if the budget is set to over $5,000. We want to send this to our top sales team so that they can work on the higher end budget area. And then what you can do here is send it to sales with all of the information. And then don't forget to use the smart tags that makes this super easy to fill out. So that's enabling conditional logic on the notifications, which notifications are powerful in their own right. You can streamline your workflow immediately using that. And then the third place you can do conditional logic is under the confirmation. So out of the gate, the confirmation you get when someone fills out a form, they'll automatically get a little confirmation. Thanks for filling out this form. We'll be in touch. So let's take conditional logic to the next level with our confirmation. Everybody already gets a confirmation once they fill it out. And you can either say, thanks for filling out our form. We'll be get back in touch with you. You can even send them to a different page or even redirect them to an external page, which would be great if you're doing like affiliate marketing or something like that. What you can also do is create a new confirmation and make this conditional as well. And when you make it conditional, you can choose what the condition is. So going back to budget, if the budget is over 5,000, then we can say we can create a brand new notification to make it specific to what they're asking for. You can do this with if somebody is sending a sales question, you can say, hey, thanks, Tammy and our sales team will get back with you within five minutes. Or if it's to your IT or you're submitting a support ticket, then you can say, hey, our support team got this and they will be in touch within 
our two hour time frame or whatever your goals are. And then you can also automatically scroll to the confirmation. That way they don't miss it if they happen to be further down on the page. But fill this out. And that is a great way to manage users' expectations. There's nothing worse than you sending something out and you have no idea what's going to happen next. And those are three great ways of using conditional logic. It's huge in your workflow. Okay, the next thing you can do to even take it further on your workflow setting is use Zapier to connect to over 1400 apps with WP Forms. All that means is all the information that you're getting from that form, you can take that information and connect it to say your Salesforce app or your, if you're working out of Google Sheets, then you can do a line item with all of the information. Connect it in, improve your workflow even more. Take that, once you get an email, then you have to forward it on to the sales team. You have to forward it on to the next team. Take that workflow that you're doing already manually and automate that process with a Zapier. Simply go in and you set up a Zap and you tell it everything that you need it to do. You see, these are all the most popular ones. You can even send it to a Slack channel, create a Salesforce lead with it, as well as several others, or even just a Google Sheets. So just go through and fill it out and make your workflow even more automated. Getting back to creating the form, if you're filling out a lot of multiple choice or drop down or check boxes, that can get really tedious to have to go through each one. And so what you can do instead is go with a bulk option. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna add a drop down. So we're filling out the drop down and you just don't wanna have to go through all of these. You can do bulk add and this will immediately let you either show presets and these are all the presets that you already have. And that would be great for if you're doing country postal codes, states, state postal codes. But then down here, you can simply just add all of your presets immediately without having to go in and click add new and add new. And if you have a survey or something that requires a lot of multiple choice and you're worried about people who are always just picking the top one, you can go in and do advanced options and randomize the choices. So you're not always getting people who are selecting the top one only. Another great feature is to add smart tags to hidden fields so that you can get a little bit more data of what's going on. Let me show you what I mean. Add this hidden field. It doesn't matter where it's at because it'll be hidden. And when you click on it, you can show the smart tag. And what you wanna do is bring in the referrer page. All that means is the URL that referred them to fill out this form, you'll start getting that data on that. So you'll see which pages are bringing in the most form completions. So that you can either build that up or make the others look just like that. So you can increase the user completion rate on that. Or even install the geolocation add-on so that you'll see where the user is from that's filling out the form. But don't worry, if you're concerned about GDPR compliance or in user privacy, simply go into the settings of WP Forms, turn on GDPR, and you can choose which items to disable here. Another great feature is, do you need to add a terms of service to your form? With WP Forms, you can do that. We'll just add a checkbox, make the only choice that, read, fill out the only choice so that they can, when they click on that, make it required. Add the terms of service in the description that we'll be using. Let's go to advanced options. And down here, we want to enable disclaimer or terms of service. And that immediately turns us into a scrollable box for however long it is. It also formats the checkbox a little bit better and it gives it a box that looks really well, really good. Some of the next great features are that you can actually get paid with WP Forms. And there are a few different payment methods that you can use. Mainly it's the Stripe and the PayPal standard that you can use to get paid. Simply install the add-ons and then you have Stripe and PayPal as your payment methods. Now this is great if you're doing like a one-off thing, like maybe you're selling t-shirts or something that you don't do very often. I say if you're going to do an actual e-commerce store, then go ahead and set up WooCommerce. But if you're wanting just kind of one-off things or very seldomly you're selling something, then definitely use the Stripe or PayPal methods. Next, you can set up images instead of multiple as the multiple choice so that they know which one they're getting when they're purchasing it. Staying with the getting paid theme, you can even set up recurring payments through the Stripe add-on. 
So this is great if you're a landlord and you have a tenant, if you are a service-based business and you have clients who pay you monthly or however frequently it is, or if you want to set up a donation-based system where you get recurring donations, you can set that up easily. If you're worried about getting data correctly on your forms, then you can set up input masks that require them to fill it out in a certain way. If you're worried about spam, there are several different ways that you can do to combat that. You can either use the default out of the box honeypot. You can choose to do custom capture where you ask a specific question and ask them to answer it or give them a math question. And then you have three different versions of reCAPTCHA that you can choose from Google as well. And then the great thing about this is if you have other websites that you need to put this on, rather than going through this whole same process, you can simply go into the tools area and export your forms as you need to. Now, if you also need to add more forms on your site and you don't want to redo it, then just go to the form and duplicate it. Great. Now that we have our form set up how we want, now we need to focus on how are we going to get people to complete the form. There are a few different ways that we can do that. First thing you can do is you can set up multiple pages. So you can go in there and if it's a fairly long form that you want them to fill out, then you can add a page break that will break it up for you. And then under field options, you can choose to either give it a progress bar, circles, or connector to showcase just how much further they have to go. Better yet, turn on the conversational forms and that will make it feel more like a question and answer setting, just like you see on popular forms like Typeform, where they go in and it looks beautiful. With conversational forms, you can create a complete distraction-free area where it allows them to just fill out your form in an ask and answer type setting. You can even set up a permalink so you can send them a direct link to this. You can add your logo and you can give your own branding to the site here. Down here, you can also show the progress bar either in a proportion or percentage area. And then when you're done, you can preview and see what this will look like. So that's a great way to set up your form to encourage people to fill it out. Now, if you don't want to do conversational mode, you can also fill out form page mode, which is very similar in that it's all on one page. It's distraction free and it allows them to just fill out your form. So those are very powerful ways to encourage people to fill out your form and send it in. Now, sometimes you just can't get them to fill out the form. And unfortunately, sometimes it's as much as 81% of users who start to fill out a form will actually abandon it. And so WP Forms is also set up an abandonment setting, so you can do that as well. Just go to the form abandonment after you activate it and enable form abandonment. And it will only save if an email address or a phone number is filled out so that you can get back in touch with them and see if you can finish the quote with them or the form with them. Okay, let's talk about some of the way that you can manage your forms on your actual website. And to do this, we're going to install the Forms Locker add-on because it does a bulk of what I'm about to talk about. So you can just install and activate the bulk, the Forms Locker add-on so you can password protect it. You can even enable scheduling. So you can do a start and an end date. And this is great if you're doing like a writing contest and it's only set on this date. It's also great for a giveaway. Although if you're really wanting to get into giveaways, then raffle press will probably be a better solution for long-term contests. But this is a great way to get people to submit maybe a writing submission or whatever you can think about. And you can set the start and end date for that. And then you can fill out a closed message to say, sorry, you didn't make it. Taking it even further, you can even close the form down after you get a certain number of entries. Also great if you're saying, okay, I'm going to submit the first 20 people's writing submission and anything after that, it won't go. But then you can add an extra feature on there to only enable a limit one total form entry per person so that people can't game it and add multiple ones. So it's super helpful. And then to take it even one step further is you can either enable, you can also enable this to only allow it for logged in users, meaning people who are already members of your site and they are the only ones who can fill it out. So then you wouldn't even have to turn on the password protect because people are automatically signing in to your website and only they can fill out your form. Huge benefit to managing your forms on your website. And getting back to writing and submissions, you can do a post submissions add-on where you can securely accept user 
submitted articles. Simply use the template that's already there and you can fill it out, ask for bio, ask for their blog post. You see the post title and this all connects to your WordPress blog post as the title, the content, featured image, the excerpt if it's on your page and the category that they want it to go to. So pretty powerful to really increase your workflow for your website for writing. And then remember when we talked about doing the forms locker add-on where you only allow logged in users to do that. Well, to take that a step further, you can turn on the user registration add-on and that will streamline that process as well. The standalone WordPress user registration is a little bit clunky and not as easy to set up. So you can simply turn on the WP forms user registration and you'll have an easy to use setup here. When you turn on the add-on, we also can do a custom login as well. So you can set up custom user registration. We're looking at the username, email, password, short bio. You can also add anything else over here that you want to add. And then if you are accepting user registration, you'll probably want to create your own custom user login form. Another great feature is if you're doing some kind of contract or a form that requires a signature, you can simply go in and add a signature. Simply install and activate the signature add-on and then you'll have this area where people, especially with a mobile, can go in and sign their name with the touchpad or their phone. And finally, do you know how your site is doing? Do you know how your customers feel about your site? With the Net Promoter Score or the Survey and Polls add-on, you can find that out. So you can install and activate the Surveys and Polls add-on and you'll have Surveys and Polls to add to your website. Polls are great for user engagement and surveys are great for you to find out how your site is doing. And creating a survey is simple as opening up and creating a new one from the survey form, like a survey form or the NPS survey, which is the net promoter score, which is super great for companies. And then when people are filling out the survey, you can see the survey results in a beautiful format like this. And then on top of it all, when you're wanting to increase your email subscriber list, they have several integrations with some of the top email service providers out there. So you just go through, find the one that is yours and install and activate it as well. Don't forget about the offline forms add-on where if someone is filling out your form and they lose connection, if you have this installed, then the form information will be saved and it will be uploaded once they reconnect. So don't forget to add that to all of your forms as well. So those are some powerful ways that you can use WP Forms to grow your business and improve your workflow of your website. Let us know in the comments below, which one will you be implementing today? And thanks for watching.